Great people, great vendors, great location. This is probably one of the best wine tastings and we've been to numerous ones. Don't be afraid to ask for your beer in a to-go cup. And very importantly, even in the go cup here in Savannah, serve your beer with a nice frothy creamy head. When traveling between events during the Food and Wine Festival in downtown Savannah, take a pedicab. Yeah, it's a great way to see the city. And don't forget, the drivers work on tips. They get a whole bunch of shrimp. You get potatoes, onions, so you put a bunch of spice in, uh, sausage, uh, corn, and you get a bunch of friends together and you have a lot of fun. Sweet Georgia shrimp off of, off of our coast are the best eating shrimp in the world. We're gonna fix some low country bowl. Local Georgia corn, Roger Wood sausage, and Georgia grown shrimp. Can't beat it. Coastal Georgia is known for wonderful oysters, but only here at the Savannah Food and Wine Festival can we get six different varieties of oysters. Gorgeous oysters. You got to get it in there, pop that hinge right there, just like so. All right, then you take a sharper knife with a little, little football shape to it, slide that across. Voila. This is amazing, Savannah Wine Festival. Seen some uh, just excellent food, different chefs doing their thing. The weather is fantastic. For November, not too hot, not too cold. When I think of a southern, some southern charm, Savannah kind of comes to mind. The ambiance of the city is sort of this cool, spooky, hip kind of vibe. I love it. You got Savannah, the most beautiful city on the coast. You know, I have a restaurant in Atlanta. I'm always trying to get to Savannah. You know, you got the intercoastal, you got uh, the most beautiful southern architecture. Some nice southern charm. Take me